This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I just wanted to prove a point about hypocrites, liars. And like I've said, this community is obviously filled with agents. I've been accused of being one myself. But anytime people accuse me of things, I have no problem. I go on their show, on their channel. I'll do it on a live stream. I don't care if there's 20 viewers to the channel, 50 viewers, unless it's a ludicrous statement, you know, a statement about just something that, you know, I don't need, I, it would almost seem like I would be deflecting if it was such a ridiculous topic for me to go on and discuss. But if somebody asks questions that, that they're generally concerned about, about things I discuss, I have no problem going on there and discussing it. And the end of the conversation, we're going to probably agree to disagree, but I'm not above correction as a Christian. And a lot of people have corrected me and a lot of people have questioned some stuff I've done. And I won't jump to conclusions based on somebody's opinion but I'll definitely take it in. And that's one of the reasons I took down my, the merchandise on my channel, right? I noticed a lot of Christians had a problem with it. When I originally did it, I didn't think of it that way, but I had no problem letting them vent on me, yell at me many times, many people, because that's the way it should be, right? There's nothing to hide, you know? We're going to have disagreements. But I'd like to show you this about Richie from Boston, okay? Because there's a real obvious concern that this guy is an agent he's trying to connect with hollywood he's obviously dumb as rocks he fits the stereotype like i've said a million times of what every movie and every person who's been brainwashed is supposed to believe a conspiracy theorist is is the life that he lives living with his parents in his 50s hunting for the sasquatch talking about absolutely insane things and theories now i i fully believe in chemtrails i've covered him many times and that's his fallback to try to get credibility is covering chemtrails. But then he talks about Harvard professors like they're legitimate professors. I mean, the guy's out of his mind, but check this out. I commented because he put up a video about YouTube censorship. What a coincidence, right? On the same day that I get my second strike, he's talking about YouTube censorship. And uh, he's trying to help another channel out, you know, telling people about his backup channel. And I just left a message. I mean, if you cared so much about him, uh, you know, about this guy and his backup channel, about High Impact Flicks. Why don't you just give them your lawyer's information? Why do you always have to uh, hide these things that you claim? You claim that a lawyer got your channel back, that you were smarter than everybody else. You lawyered up, and you're ahead of the curve, and, oh, you did it the right way, and somehow in 24 hours, your lawyer got a hold of you two and got your channel back because you always play the victim, right? Just like other people we know who eat bagels who always play the victim. It's the same card. Right? And that's how they reel subscribers in and reel people in is because they always play the victim. I'm censored. I'm the most censored channel. No one's done gotten more against them than me. You didn't hear me saying that today. There's plenty of channels that have more censorship than I've had. Jeff C's had more. Jurassic Liars has had more. Many channels have been deleted over and over again. Okay. Point I was making is that, uh, you know, I've built mine up and it seems about when I get around 200,000 subscribers, they want to take it down because they want to keep the frauds up in the 100,000 subscriber to 200,000 subscriber range and grow those channels out. So all I did was comment and say, well, if you cared so much about, you know, getting his channel back, why don't you just give him the information about your lawyer? I mean, like I said earlier, if it was true that you actually used a lawyer, is the lawyer rejecting business? I mean, is this the first lawyer in the history of the world who doesn't want to make money? Because I'm sure High Impact Flicks would be fine with paying a lawyer to get his channel back. Right, So you don't want to give him that information. You don't want to put that out there. I, I just asked a simple question. Why don't you comment on it? Why don't you put that out there to help other channels out if you can't claim to be a truther and you want to help other people? And what does Richie do? The comment gets 30 likes in five minutes, 30 thumbs ups. It's the top rated comment instantly. Richie blocks the comment. I put the comment up again on my backup channel. Richie blocks the comments in under three minutes. So what I'm asking you to do, the listener, and whether you're a fan of his channel or not, it doesn't matter to me. You shouldn't be a fan of anybody. If you're a listener to his channel, ask him the simple question. Copy and paste what I put below and ask him, if it's true about your lawyer, then why don't you give the information out to help other channels? Why, your lawyer? Are we supposed to believe that your lawyer is going, please, Richie, don't put my information out there. I'm too busy. I don't want the free business when it only took me under 24 hours to get your channel reinstated and you paid me a handsome amount of money to do it. Oh, I don't, but I don't want other people's business because it's not real because his channel was never taken down because Richie is an agent. And that's a fact. 
It is a full-grown fact that Richie from Boston is not just an agent. He's a Freemason. He goes after channels when they talk about Freemasonry or pedophilia. What a coincidence. And it should be simple for anyone who listens to a channel. Just like I would expect people to listen to my channel. If I did something like that, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, and this channel went down, and go sub, I'd expect you to go, well, why don't you just give him the information to help get his channel back? Or why don't you tell him what you did? Right? And I'd say, yeah, it's a good point. Why don't I do that? Didn't think of it. I wouldn't block it and hide it because I wouldn't be lying about anything. But of course, this is what Richie from Boston does. And this is why there's videos day after day from many channels who put truth out. And then the people go, oh, the, all these channels are just trolls and they're jealous of Rich, jealous of Richie. I had way more subscribers than Richie and I still might not have as many as him right now. But we all know who, if Richie thinks he's the big dog in the block, Richie's not the big dog in the block. We all know who the big dogs in the block are, the channels who matter and actually do work. Okay? So go over there and post and ask Richie from Boston why he won't give his information on his lawyer and why he won't address it and why he feels the need to shadow block channels like mine from asking him questions about it. Okay? It's one thing to shadow block somebody if they say F you and oh, you know, screw your family and you're a piece of ass, you know, that's fine. But boy, Richie got nervous fast when he saw all those thumbs up, thumbs ups on my comment of so many people wondering why this guy is such a freaking liar and won't address anything. The only channel that's not being censored in this entire movement, whether you have 20 subs, 200,000 subs, or 500,000 subs, the only channel that is not being censored is Richie from Boston. That's it. Everybody else is under censorship, under attack, and fighting this stuff on a daily basis. While Richie's out driving over rocks, telling his subscribers that it's all, it's not going to be long for me. I might get home from my, you know, I'm out here with other 50-year-old men, and we're going two miles an hour driving over rocks like toddlers. And when I get home in a week, I might not have a channel. You might not have a channel? Why would you not have a channel? What are you doing to help the truth movement? Nothing. You're going around greeting people like you're a celebrity. Using this for fame and fortune. Using this to go, and, and another thing, oh, I, I missed the boat on when YouTubers made money. I came in right after the fact. I have all the emails of Richie asking me about when, you know, should he monetize, should he not, and all that stuff. And I know how much money Richie's making because I can base it off of my channel and how my channel does. And he pretends he's like, I don't make anything. He doesn't even pay rent. I mean, let's, let's factor in the fact that this guy doesn't have any bills, Right? So the monetization, you don't have bills, you don't pay for groceries, you don't pay for rent. All you pay for is to drive cross country and drive over rocks. You pay for gasoline every month. Congratulations. The guy is a total scam artist. This is just more proof of it. If you sub to him, get away. Okay, and I don't want to hear this stuff. Why are you going after Richie all of a sudden? I've had issues with this guy since I started. I smelt an agent since I started. And what I usually do when I smell an agent is I don't go after the agent. I just watch what they do, and I, I sense, uh, you know, I uh, when they message me and stuff like that, I keep an eye on the and tabs on them and watch what they do. And this guy has been trying to take me out to dinner, meet up with me, get me to go on road trips with him. This is about two years ago, not recently, that's for sure. Because the guy wants everyone's information. He wants to dox people. Why do you think he's setting up a website? He's going to data mine the crap out of all the subscribers. He wants all of us in this movement to reveal our faces to get all of our information out there and pretend like he's going to start some type of uprising himself and do something about it. When in reality, really what he wants to do is start a hookup site and a meetup site and get everybody's information and then pass it along to the government because that's what agents do. And if you don't think there's agents in this movement, you're insane. And if you think I'm one, that's fine. You can think it all you want. You're entitled to your, to your own opinion. But if you don't think or even have any suspicion of Richie from Boston being an agent, then you have no discernment at all. Because there's probably no bigger fraud in the history of this movement than this guy. And if I even showed some of the stuff that I had on him, you go, you would go ballistic. But I can't cross into personal lives and stuff like that. And with emails that women have sent me of him telling them, you know, that he's going to make them a star if they leave their husbands. And, you know, if they hang with him and hang out with him, he'll make them YouTube stars. I mean, the guy is insane. Truthers out there would go absolutely berserk because this movement isn't about being famous and being popular and being cool. It's about the damn truth. 
And if you're not about the damn truth, then you shouldn't be a part of this. And it's been hijacked by lunatics like this who are more interested in uploading videos of them driving over rocks and starting other channels and making those channels grow. It's like, you know, I grew up watching sports. I don't have another channel of me, you know, giving you analysis of the Yankee game from last night. Wouldn't you be a little like, oh, well, you're a truther, but, you know, why are you talking about baseball and sports and things of this world? Well, I'm not. You know why? Because the truth's the only thing that matters to me. I don't have a channel of me uh, playing, uh, you know, pretending I'm a survivalist and I'm doing this stuff and trying to sell things and do giveaways like a scam artist marketer would do. Okay? I've had enough of this crap. So go over there. Ask the guy. Plain and simple. Anyone in this community should be able to answer questions when they're confronted on it. You know, there's certain things like if, if it's completely ridiculous, then you don't need to address it, right? Because then you're really just deflecting. But when a guy comes out and says, oh, I got a lawyer, that's how I got my channel back, then prove it. Help other channels get their channels back because many have been deleted. I'm about to lose my second. And guess what? I'm just going to build it back up. I don't want your lawyer's information, but maybe High Impact Flicks does. Maybe other channels out there do. Maybe we just want people like you to address your lies because your audience is so dumbed down that they don't question a thing that comes out of your fat mouth when the rest of us do. And at the end of the day, when you're going home and living with your parents in your 50s, that should be enough for people to go, all right, you know what? How am I taking advice or taking any of this stuff from a guy? Oh, wait a minute. That's because this is exactly how they want to destroy the truth movement. Because they have their stereotypical crazy lunatic loser who's going to be the highest, you know, subscribe. I mean, what do you think? It's a coincidence that I can't get past 200 plus subscribers anymore without running into strikes. All these months since I started my backup channel and blew it back up, all of a sudden I'm getting stri strikes in consecutive days. You don't think they want to keep specific channels to be the face of the movement so then they could put them on blast and put them on CNN and put them on Fox News to make us all look like retards because there's only one retard in this movement that I know of. I mean, a legitimate one and take a guess who it is. Not hard to figure out. And this isn't even putting the guy on blast. This is just straight up shooting from the hip. Go ask him for yourself. And why is he blocking the comments then about it? Oh, because it's not real and it never really happened. So what's the real reason? Did you delete it yourself or was it just a little, trick between you and your handlers and your other agents to make you look credible when you're not don't see my other channel back with 250,000 subs can't find any of the videos either but you know what i'm going along i'm fighting through it i'm not making stuff up and i'm not trying to dox information for my subscribers get a clue if you listen to the guy for crying out loud you're falling into a honey trap quick get out of it it's like quicksand get away from it i don't say that often do i do i say it often I've had beasts with many channels. I've never, I've said at the end of it, hey, you want to listen to the guy? Listen to the guy. I don't care. This, there's too much fishiness going, going on over there. There's too much, it smells like crap. Everything that's going on that's coming out of there and everything we're seeing going on. And there's one face at the front of all this stuff, right? Who's protecting pedophiles, who's protecting pretty much anything according to Satanism and the occult. And then sometimes goes, I went to the, I visited the satanic temple in, in Boston. Oh, you visited, you went inside and did nothing. That's great. Investigative work. When people like me have been covering it for years and upon decades, really covering and exposing the occult, whether on YouTube or not, but showing up there. Wow. That's wonderful. That's great work. We all knew it was there. I told you it was there. You idiot. And you email me and asking if I wanted to go with you there, why would I want to go with you there? Why would I want to go inside of there unless I was going to punch someone in the face or get the place shut down? Wow. Think about it. Pfft, give me a break. This is a call for an uprising. If you're hearing this video, uh, you're on the main old channel that was deleted and terminated and somehow out of the blue is just reinstated after I was calling out a specific channel about how they got their channel back in 24 hours. And oh my goodness, now my channel is back after calling them a shill and an agent. This is absolute bizarreness. If you're wondering where I've been, I haven't been anywhere. They've deleted this channel and I started new channels and I have 185,000 subscribers on one, 40,000 on the other. And I'll leave those channels linked up below. If you remember me and you remember my content, 
and you're confused, you should be confused because I'm confused. Subscribe to the other channels below because I do not plan on uploading to this channel because I don't know what is going on right now and how this is back, but something's fishy. And my new content is supposed to be going up on my second channel. And I, I really don't have anything to explain right now. I don't know, you know, how. Listen, I've seen channels like Truth Never Sleeps Suddenly is back and Richie from Boston was suddenly back. But that's because they were, uh, you know, Truth Never Sleeps or whoever was relentlessly trying to get his channel back. Right? Calling him an email. I haven't done anything to get it back. I was content with my other channel that they just blocked. And now this is back out of nowhere. With no email saying, hey, we've decided to give you your ch old channel back that we deleted back on Thanksgiving. And it's now May. Unless somebody knows something that I don't, you know? What, do you get your channel back after six months of deletion? I never heard of that. Makes no sense. But it's about six months from the time period it was taken down. I just called somebody out on how they get their channels back, and now this channel's back. <laughs> they can't make it up. You know, I guess they're just either trying to make me go crazy or make it look like I'm crazy or make it look like I'm a liar. One of the above. But trust me, when I tell you this from the bottom of my heart, I don't know what's going on right now. And I'm not happy about it because this just, just smells of bullshit is what it smells of. So, again, make sure you subscribe to my other channels. If you're wondering where I've been, that's where I'm at. Uh, if you're hearing this and you're probably looking, you're like, oh, this is your regular channel. Now you're no, this is the old channel suddenly popping back up in your in your feed here with all these old videos that they took down. It's insane. It makes absolutely no sense. And I'll try to figure out what the hell's going on. This is a call for an uprising. Uh, I don't know what to say right now. And I'm not, I'm not happy about this because something's fishy because this is not how YouTube works. I, Woke up, I had two strikes. Yesterday, I let everyone know I had one strike on this channel. I woke up with a second strike. I was unable to upload on this channel. Now, if you had subscribed, like I had asked, to the Fire Rises, which is now Call for an Uprising 2, you would know that I wasn't able to upload on here for minimum of a certain amount of time. All right? I showed the screenshots and everything. Okay, I did a video about 45 minutes ago about how Richie from Boston is... Uh, what I believe is an agent, somebody who is uh, playing the victim card, how he's the only one that had his channel reinstated and all that stuff. And Richie's very fearful of me, especially verbally, because he knows that uh, I can get people to turn on him in an instant because it's pretty easy to call him out. And he knows I have a loyal, loyal followers to my channel. So I called him out. On his crap with his lawyer and how his lawyer got his channel back in 24 hours and all that stuff. Within 20 minutes, within 20 minutes, my original channel, okay, Call for an Uprising, my original one that got deleted in November, suddenly was reinstated without me even appealing it. I have not appealed it. I haven't even looked at it. it was reinstated. And this channel, which had two strikes, now has no strikes. Anybody think that's suspicious? I'm going to have to do a live stream in a few minutes. This is, this is just bizarre. Very bizarre. And all it does is actually make me look like an agent or something like that. Because it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. I can't figure it out for the life of me. Are you kidding me? Uh, let alone that I got two strikes removed from this channel. How did my old channel suddenly appear? If it isn't some type of ploy, I guess, to make me look like a liar, make me look like a fraud, because I just pretty much made Richie put him on the spot, seem like a complete liar, a complete government agent. This is, this is we need to discuss this. I'm going to go live in a bit.